So I typically wake up around 7.30 when working from home, but on this particular day, I had to wake up at 5.30 because I had a 6 a.m. meeting with a team from India. Even though I'm not going into the office today, I do make an effort to look presentable. And there goes my outfit of the day. After logging in, the first thing I typically like to do is to jot down a couple of items that I'm going to work on today and then check my emails. I just finished up my meeting with the client. I demoed some work I did. We're gonna have a great day. Um, usually when I log in, I always write my to-do list. So I have a couple of things to do. I have how many meetings today? One, two, okay, I only have two meetings. So that's great, not too busy. But yeah, sometimes it happens where I have to wake up very, very early in the morning because I have to meet with the India team. And for them, um, it's like 6, 7 p.m. and I have to wake up by five or six. So. I just pray that every time I meet with them, they're online and there, there, ha there has been some times where like I've waken up five or six and I'm on the Zoom by myself. So I have my eight o'clock meeting soon, which is my team stand up where we talk about what we're gonna do for the day, if we have any blockers, what's our update. So I'm going to make a quick breakfast right now. I'm gonna try these Dr. Prager's Southwest hash browns I got from Whole Foods. First time trying it. I'm gonna make some egg white with spinach. I don't know if I have time to make a green juice because I have to like cut it up and put it in the juicer. I, I don't know, but we're gonna see because I really want a green juice. Okay, here's my breakfast. Yummy. Did you guys see that pan that I used? It took all the egg white. <laughs> and it's supposed to be a non-stick pan, but I guess the coating has just, I don't know, it's just disappeared. <laughs> it's just slowly been removed from the pan, but I need to get a new non-stick pan because I don't have that much egg left. While I was cooking, I got pulled into a meeting and boy, Boy, am I busy today. I wasn't even that busy <laughs> at six. Now it's 8.54 and I'm really busy. Like my scope has changed. So I'm gonna eat really quick and start working. So I'm gonna update my to-do list because I like to stay organized. And it's so satisfying when you cross it off. So satisfying. So I need to do a couple of things this morning. I'm going to send an email, update my to-do list, and start working on my new ticket, which is some UI stuff. So I'm gonna get to coding. So I'm all done with the UI update. I'm good to go. I can open up a PR and double it to my team. But I just got a notification that Vice just uploaded a, another debate. I love these types of videos. Like I love Vice. I like watching Jubilee content. But this one is conservatives debate liberals on the US education system. And I'm trying to watch this while I work before they disable the comments, okay? Because the comment section is always interesting to read. Like, people get really heated. They argue with other people. They argue with other strangers. I think it's so funny. But other debate videos, they disable the comments because it got heated. So, I'm here for the drama just a little bit. <laughs> 
but I always love reading the comments. But let me know if you guys watch these videos. I like Vice, Jubilee. There's some other channels that do this type of um, debate, discussion types of uh, videos, but I'm about to watch it and I'm gonna continue working. We're at my favorite part of the day, which is lunch. Ooh, you guys can't see me. I'm gonna walk backwards. But it is lunchtime. We are midway through. Well, I am midway through, not you guys. Okay, so for lunch, I am going to have a bean burrito that I got from Trader Joe's. Black bean burrito. I'm about to make some dinner. I'm gonna make some salmon. My favorite fish, fun fact. And then I have these red, what is it called? Mini medley potatoes. And then I'm gonna make some roasted broccoli. Everything's just gonna be cooked in the oven, so. Nice. Okay, dinner is cooking. I'm just tidying up the bathroom. It's so nice to be off the screen. You know, you're staying on the screen for so long. <laughs> just coding away, coding away. Trying to code, trying to solve a problem, debugging. And I tend to get dry eyes after a while because like I'm blinking less and literally I'm like this. Sometimes you don't even realize it, but I'm like this all day. <laughs> And I'm like, oh shoot, like I haven't even taken a break and now my head hurts and now I have like heavy eyes. It happens once in a while. But I am not one of those people who like code on the weekends, who works on, you know, building computer. No. I go to work, I code, I come back and do something else. I used to like do my own side projects in college. Of course, they get like internships and I did it for fun just to get more practice with coding, but no, not anymore. <laughs> I wanna work on other things. I'm doing YouTube on the side. I like to read, I'm doing other things. I do not code anymore on the weekends. I honestly don't think I would enjoy it either. So dinner is served. Look at this. Yummy Parmesan broccoli, salmon, and potatoes. Scrumptious. We are going to wash fresh prints, our tried and true, because it's funny. <laughs> and I don't want to spend an hour trying to look for something. By the time I do that, the food would be gone. <laughs> so this is our go-to show. What does that smell? Mm. back inside from my walk. I think I walked for maybe like 30, 40 minutes. It was so nice outside. But I'm about to read my Think Like a Monk book. You guys know I've been reading this for the first quarter and I'm on the second to last chapter. So I'm almost done. I'm gonna see how much I can um, read tonight and see if I can finish it. If not, I'll probably finish it tomorrow, which means that I'm a month early on my book goal, which is really nice. But yeah, I call this self-development time. I at least have the self-development time at least 
an hour or two daily. So let's start reading. set for bed i'm gonna go lay down and continue reading my book until i fall asleep i have an early morning meeting so i'll be up around 6 a.m again <laughs> but this is a real estate daily life of a software engineer if you guys want to see a QA type of video let me know and i can make that happen but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see my next one bye